Do you find yourself grateful and joyful even in your times of difficulty? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. There is a story of a doctor who went to visit a very sick man back in the days when doctors made house calls. The doctor took his dog along with him and the animal waited outside, barking every once in a while to remind his master that he was there. The man said, Doc, I'm scared. What can you tell me about death? What's on the other side? The doctor said, I can't tell you much. Then he got up and opened the door. His dog bounded inside, leaping gratefully all over his master. The doctor continued, My dog has never been here. He had no idea what was on the other side of this door. All he knew was that his master was on the other side. I can't tell you, friend, exactly what's on the other side, but I know that my master is waiting there. That's my view. I don't know exactly what is waiting, but I do know who is waiting. In today's Gospel reading, Mary visits Elizabeth on the latter's sixth month of pregnancy. When Mary knocked at the door, she was greeted by Elizabeth, but it was the child in Elizabeth's womb that leapt for joy, not because of Mary, but because of the child in Mary's womb. God was with Mary. God was in Mary. We reflect on the beautiful Magnificat, the hymn of Mary, to remind us of Mary's example of obedience, trust in her heart, full of praise and gratefulness. Mary did not know what the future held, but at her tender age, she must have been 14 at that time, she was already prepared for the great responsibility ahead of her, including as Simeon prophesied at the temple, experiencing the sword that will pierce her soul, the death of her son Jesus. The angel Gabriel assured her that she was filled with the grace to overcome her ordeals in life. We also reflect today on God's visit into our lives how we have been blessed, how we have been saved, and how grateful we should be that despite all the difficulties we have gone through or undergoing now, there are many things to still be thankful for. Joy should fill our hearts for the things we know we have been blessed with, such as the times we have been saved from danger. But joy must continue to consume us, even in our times of trials, for we do not even realize it, but we could have experienced worse. Jessica Shaver, in her book, New Every Morning, opens our eyes for the blessings we often take for granted or do not realize at all. She said, I'm a Christian, but sometimes I forget to thank God for the things that haven't happened. I'm grateful for the accidents I wasn't involved in, the illnesses that never developed, and the times I could have been mugged but wasn't. I'm thankful my house didn't burn down when I left the iron on for five hours. I'm thankful that when we left the garage door up all night, nothing was taken. Ever since my daughter nearly sheared her fingertip in the bathroom door, I'm thankful for every uneventful day. Our Lord's invitation is to be like Mary, full of trust and covered with joy. Let us heed the words in Ephesians, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. Let us constantly ask for God's grace as we strive for holiness, to be confident of the morrow. When the final door of our life opens, we know that the one waiting for us on the other side is the master of life. We just need to trust, to obey, and be constantly grateful. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, fill me with your grace so that I may always be joyful in my times of testing. When I experience trepidation and fear, when my resolve to follow you wavers, this I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.